Tactical Performance Center. We're back at the Tactical Performance Center and I'm here with Brian Nelson. Brian's an accomplished shooter in his own right. And what we're gonna work on today is a grip tip that will help you shoot with a lot more control at speed. And we're gonna use what we call the handshake to illustrate the principles involved. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Brian just grip in a normal handshake. And then I want you to set your wrist tension and a set means that it has a direction. I don't want him to lock the wrist because I'm not concerned about movement in all directions. I want him to set it in a direction against the upward motion of what the gun would be doing if it was recoiling in the hand. So you're gonna just set that downward, a little bit of downward angle, set the tension, and I'm gonna add some tension here. Now, it's important to understand grip tension and wrist tension are two separate motor actions. So you can wiggle your fingers and still keep that wrist set. And that's important for when you're trying to relax your hand and manipulate the finger, you wanna make sure you're not putting a whole bunch of tension in that hand that's interfering with the free manipulation. Now we're gonna do this with both hands. So if you go ahead and put your hands out, Brian's gonna simply set the tension in both wrists. I'm gonna apply a little bit of tension and he's gonna hold that tension. We're gonna apply that concept into a shooting drill. So go ahead and let's face down range, Brian, check the gun, status check it and get on target, get your grip the way you want it, and use that wrist tension. I'm gonna put a little bit of tension here, and you're gonna shoot that line to help you calibrate how much energy is required to have it come back to that line after you shoot. Just go ahead and dry fire it. And just try it a couple times. And then go ahead and load. And go ahead and shoot, you know, right around five shots at the line and help calibrate that tension. We're using that wrist tension. Very good. Now, take that idea, and he was doing it nice and slow. Let's speed it up just a little bit, top left circle, and we're gonna go a little faster using the same concept. Bring it up and shoot three. Very good. Do it again on the same target. Good. Now go ahead and reload. Now let's slow it down just a little bit. Take the middle one and just go nice and slow so the audience can see that coming up. Set your tension, tension. And you can see the gun coming back to sight alignment each and every time. He's not having to bring it back, it's coming back. And that's the object of learning to set your wrist tension. I'm Ron Avery, this is Brian Nelson with another tip for you.